Let me tell you something. Whatever it takes to get people into the house of the Lord, I think around the world tonight we ought to get a fire on the inside of us saying, listen, I want to, I want to see more people in church. I, listen, I want to invite them to church and make an effort when you, when, you, when you go to church, cry out somebody's name that you've never cried out. Listen, down at Morgan Branch, we've got names that we speak out every day. Every time we gather out, we speak a name and we speak a name and we speak a name and we speak different names and families and listen and one name of a guy that we kept speaking and speaking and speaking his wife showed up one Sunday morning and gave her heart to the Lord Jesus Christ now listen and now we need to move on to other names and move on to other names because let me tell you something once you get saved by the grace of God you want nothing else in this world because this world ain't got nothing to offer uh, that, can, that, can, that can even mount up to what Jesus offered me he offered me a home in heaven. This world offers me a home for just temporary. If I stop making payments, John, they'll put you out of it. You know what? I've never made the first payment on that home in heaven. Every day that I live, I get closer to it. And every day that you invite somebody to church, they'll make an excuse why they don't want to come. See, I tell them all the time, that if they want to go to a Pentecostal church, they're one down below us. It's a great church. If they want to go to a Baptist church, they're one above us. That's a great church. Listen, everybody's a little different, but let me tell you, Jesus Christ is the same Jesus in every denomination there is. He don't change from church to church, and people shouldn't change from church to church. Listen, I'm the same in a Baptist as I am in a Pentecostal. I'm the same in a Pentecostal as I am a Presbyterian. I'm the same guy because Jesus is the same guy, and he don't want us to change. He don't want us to be different from church to church because let me tell you something. Let me tell you, I can, listen, I can lie to you, and you can lie to me. I can hide from you and you can hide from me, but they, none of us can, can hide or lie to the all seeing eye of God. That's right. Listen, tonight, Amen. we've got a lot to pray for. I read you some names. And listen, that king that was going to have that banquet supper got angry. And he told that servant to go out and get the lame yeah. and get just anybody that... It, get the poor people. Just get anybody just to fill his house up. The Bible said the servant went out and come back and said, you know, I've done all what you want me to do, but we still got room. You know, every church in America still got room. You can walk in every church in America and get on a front row seat. I don't care what time you go, whether you're there early or late, you can still get a front row seat, don't matter what church you go to. I don't know what it is about that front row. You just can't get people to sit on it. But let me tell you something. One of these days, all of our excuses around the world is going to run out. And you know, if by going and getting a haircut made a difference in one person's life, yeah. it was worth everything of it. It's worth it all, brother. I told them last week and I told them Tuesday, and I'm going to give them, this, I'm going to give them a song, but I told them the other night, that we got 92 to get a mohawk. If they get 100 in, we'll, we'll dye it any color they want to. <laughs> Biggest majority of them said hot pink would be a good, good color. You know, it's just hurry to grow back. But that soul, once it's gone, it can't never come back. So we need to be a light in this lost and dying world. We need to do whatever it takes is what we need to be doing as they sing a song over there.